save the dog. Everything about that story is, is bizarre and insane and inconceivable. And I said yesterday, not only should the flight attendant be fired, but they ought to consider bringing charges against her. Well, that's exactly what they're now doing. There is a criminal investigation, according to news reports. Uh, and if they can confirm that, that flight attendant forced that young family to put that dog up in the overhead bin, she could be brought up on animal cruelty charges. And the guy called me yesterday, and he, and he admitted, and I was probably a little rough on him. He was a good guy. He just said, I'm not a dog person. I know you are, and you have, you've had dogs all your life. And, uh, and I told him, I, he said, it's a dog, and it's not that big a deal. And, you know, uh, he, he was, and then he called me out because I theorized the only way this could have happened is that the flight attendant thought that the, the passenger didn't pay the fee to put the dog under, it's like $175. Well, the airlines later confirmed that, they, that the, the passenger did pay the fee. Still doesn't change my theory. My theory was perhaps the flight attendant didn't think the passenger paid the fee. I don't know. I don't know if you get another ticket if you pay the fee for the pet. But, then the, but that was what the caller yesterday, if you'll remember, was trying to, to hold me up on. He kept saying, you know, oh, you didn't even know. You're fake news. You thought that, he didn't, that she didn't pay the fee. And he was taking me to task because he's not a dog person. You either, you're not a pet person. If you don't understand pets, if you don't realize or, or appreciate the relationship pets have to people, then you don't get it. And I'm not blasting you for not getting it. You either get it or you don't. And it's a little bit like that with the president. You either can appreciate the, the truly funny moments that occur on a regular basis the self-deprecating uh, humor. The, the other night, joking about what it means to be presidential.